Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a special Sunday evening edition of Living Room Chats. I'm your host, Mr. B, along with my co-host, Mr. Eli, over here. Okay, so we're uh, finishing up. This week is going to be our last week in the civil rights movement. Uh, I got some of the quizzes back. I got your essays back. Uh, next week, we're going to kind of finish it off. We're going to talk about the legacy of the civil rights movement, okay? A couple of things I want to discuss here. Um, you know, during the civil rights movement, Montgomery and Birmingham, Alabama, pretty much became the battlegrounds of the whole movement okay a lot of a lot of stuff happened in alabama um the governor wallace did not care for integration he didn't care to desegregate uh you know birmingham had a very harsh chief of police uh named bull connor eugene bull connor he didn't care for it either so it, it really did just kind of bring about the movement in those cities and once they were able to finally get some momentum going in the civil rights movement desegregate a lot of those things in those cities um then they kind of move forward okay uh we talked about the freedom rides freedom rides remember the montgomery bus boycott that desegregated only local public transportation system not interstate bus travel okay boynton versus virginia finally desegregated interstate bus travel so the freedom riders pretty much just won the test of decision okay could they ride between states okay without being harassed okay and and in the initial freedom riders when they left for virginia they were doing okay until they got down to alabama and then you kind of read about what happened okay they almost paid with their lives when they got there so it kind of proved that even though the supreme court said hey you know interstate bus travel is desegregated and they still face some backlash from the people who did not want um integration and did not want all that equality okay so uh, it was a lot of things that they had to overcome okay the freedom summer okay the freedom summer happened in mississippi and that's when people finally got the right to vote in the south you gotta remember a big part of the civil rights movement was to get african americans the right to vote just like today we have the power to vote so we can elect officials in office that we feel best represent us African Americans just wanted the same thing, okay? They wanted that right to vote, so that way they can get people in there that they felt could best represent them, okay? The Freedom Summer in Mississippi kind of went ahead and just got people out there, got them out to vote, helped them register to vote, okay? And if you ever had a chance, there's a movie called Mississippi Burning that portrays that Freedom Summer, okay? And it talks about, um, it shows the, the, the death of three civil rights um, activists, okay, in that movie too. So. Freedom Summer has to do with voting, the Freedom Riders, interstate bus travel, and all that good stuff, okay? Uh, for the test that we take when we do terms and names, all right, and you write sentence, okay, it asks from the term that you get, write a sentence that is significant to the civil rights movement, okay? Just don't write any random sentence. Your sentence, if it talks about Freedom Summer, okay, how is that significant to the civil rights movement? That's what the question is asking. When you write a sentence, please check your mechanics, okay? I'm getting sentences with no capitalization, no periods. I'm just kind of getting words thrown in there, okay? I'm taking off points for that. So make sure you're doing it, doing it right, okay? You, you know what to do, okay? Remember, we got about four weeks left, so we got to finish strong, okay? School is not over yet. So do what you got to do and just do it right and, and turn in the quality work that you've been doing before, okay? Other than that, um, hey, it's been, it's been great so far. You know, we were pushing through it, you know, the, our school has been doing a fantastic job with online learning. Um, so I do appreciate everything everybody else has uh, done. You know, a lot of great stuff that I've been getting to. So, okay, other than that, Eli, do you have anything to add before we get out of here for the night? Yes, yes, Eli, you are Teacher of the Year. You, you win the hearts and mind of everybody else, okay? That, that, that's Eli, but, you know, we love him. All right, everyone, so have a good night. Uh, we'll, we'll finish up this week and... Hit Vietnam next week, and then uh, we'll be done for the year. All right, out.